In the open source editor Darktable, there are several methods to demosaic your image. Does it matter which one you choose? In fact, it does. Today, I'm going to tell you which one of these is the best. First, it's important to note that in most of your images, you won't see a difference between these methods, so you can rest assured that you probably didn't waste hundreds of hours choosing the wrong method. But there is one instance in which these methods make a big difference, and that is when you have a lot of fine detail and there's a possibility for false color. Let's take a look at an example. By the way, if you find this video useful, please subscribe to support the channel. In this example, we have a picture of an American robin. Even on this lowly 1080p monitor, I can tell there is something wrong with this image. It is especially apparent in the darker areas of the wing. Let's zoom into that area. You'll notice that there is quite a lot of false color. This color is not an inevitability, but rather an artifact of the demosaicing method. The demosaicing method we have selected is PPG. This is not the default of Darktable now. In fact, the default is RCD. If we select RCD, we notice that the pattern improves a little bit, but it is still not very good. There are still these strange horizontal lines that seem to be artifacts of the image processing. Selecting VNG4 just makes the problem worse and the image look more blurry. What about the other two options, Amaze and LMMSE? By the way, try saying that last one quickly. Well, Amaze does a pretty good job, but if I compare Amaze to LMMSE, I notice that LMMSE does a little bit better job at rendering the file. I won't go through all my testing because that could get quite boring. However, I've tested all these demosaicing methods on over a dozen images, and I've found that LMMSE does the best job with fine detail. Thus, if your images contain a lot of fine detail, I would recommend avoiding the default RCD algorithm and using LMMSE instead. I hope you enjoyed this tip on using Darktable, and I'll see you again next time.